Hello? Hello, am I speaking with Aaron Bitterman? Hey, what's up, Adam? Hi, how are you today? I'm good. Good. Um, I was just calling to ask uh, what you're up to this weekend. Um, well, uh, you're actually, you're turning 40 this weekend, so I'm going to go to your birthday party. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good plan, and I was hoping you would say that. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, that means I won't be at our Speed Ventures event this weekend at Chuckwalla Valley Raceway, because uh, otherwise, that's what I'd be doing. Right, of course. Well, I hope that I provide an acceptable alternative. I don't know. I'm expecting a pretty good party. Um, there's going to be karaoke there. Um, I'm going to sing John Denver songs, apparently. Yeah, I, I put in your requests. Uh, the DJ promised to have that. And I also did get that uh, obscure Alabama song that you requested. Oh, okay. People would think I was into country music listening to this, but of course, we know that's not really that true. It's only a little bit true. A little bit true. Well, we're all a little bit country. <laughs> and we're all a little bit rock and roll. That's right. Um, um, so yeah, I'm actually drinking a Starbucks, a cup of Starbucks out here. Okay. Um, Starbucks is actually not a official Speed Ventures sponsor, but I'm um, drinking some Starbucks, eating some macadamia nuts that I uh, forced one of, uh, uh, one of our employees to give me. Um, and I'm uh, just sitting here out in Fontana looking at an empty parking lot, watching cars go around. Well, that sounds fun. It could be worse. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, you know, for Chuck Wall, let's talk a little about Chuck Wall this weekend, shall we? Let's do it. All right. Um, beautiful track, smooth surface, fine grain sand, no right. mud, perfect weather, no wind. No trees, nothing to hit, not a lot of signups. What could be better? Yeah, all those things you mentioned are uh, excellent reasons to uh, head out to the desert this weekend and uh, drive around quickly in a circle. Um, we, we were talking about Chuckwalla a couple days ago, and uh, you kind of mentioned how it's, it's like a mini F1 track, right? I kind of did. I don't know why I think that. I don't know if that's based on in any reality. But the first time I drove it, I remember thinking that it reminded me of the what is what's his name? Herman Tilda. Is that the designer who designs all the tracks? Uh, Helmut Tilda. I prefer. I would hope that it's Helmet. <laughs> I think it's 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 probably Herman or something. But anyway, the guy who designs most of the F1 tracks, I feel like Chuck Walla has the same kind of flow the modern F1 track designs. Not Monza, not, you know, Monaco, obviously, or whatever, but it has that flow. It's got like, it's got a solid, at least one good double apex turn, you know, maybe even a triple apex turn, I think. It's got a lot of double apex turns, which are, you know, all the rage these days. Everyone likes a double apex turn. Right, um, so we're running clockwise. Um, so I think, and if you don't know what that means, that's if you look at a clock and you look at the way the hand turns, that's that's what clockwise is. Right. Um, so, yeah, I think what you would probably be re referring to would be turns, turn four into turn five, which uh, the way I take it is essentially one arc. So I would look at that as a double apex uh, turn. Uh, right, but isn't but when you track out there at the outer point, isn't there a little bit of a pause before you turn in for the second, like a slightest pause, or not even um, the slightest pause? I think if you're going fast enough, um, you would drift out to track edge in between four and five. But I try to hold this. I try to hold one arc, and just kind of throttle steer it, throttle steer it, steer it into easy for me to say. Throttle steer it from four uh, into five. Um, Wait a minute, you can't, but you can't throttle steer a Miata, so I don't. How do you do that? <laughs> you, you're right. I mean, generally the 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 throttle on a Miata is on or off. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I generally try to take one arc and then even through five, um, hit the apex five, track out, and then hold that arc to, to come back track left to set up for turn six and seven. Yeah, 
I think that's sort of what I do. I, it's been yeah. so long, you know, but yeah. I also like to drop wheels on the outside in the dirt there at sure. the track. Yeah. Why not? That's always exciting. Up to the um, guy behind you. <laughs> right. uh, six and seven is also a very uh, challenging complex there, um, especially since you're setting up for, uh, you know, one of the longer straightaways on the track. Um, it's always a, always a fun one. Six, seven, that's the one with the big hill. Uh, no, six, seven is, uh, is setting up for the straightaway that ends with that hill. Does that make sense? Oh, right. Okay. Uh, I, I have the luxury of looking at a track map right now. So, um, well, yeah, I mean, look, I know the track. I just don't know the numbers. Gotcha. Gotcha. Don't get me um, wrong. And then, uh, and then the other one that's possibly you could look at is double apex is the final turn before the front straight, which is uh, almost well, no, that's, degrees. A turn. That's a constant apex. That's a continuous apex turn. I would call that. But got it. No, I was thinking of. Um, I was thinking the one right after four or five. Yeah. Then there's the bull, which of course is super crazy gnarly. If you haven't driven through the bull. Yep, 10 degrees of banking. You haven't lived, and if you're a male, you're not a man. <laughs> you're a male, but you're not a man. You're not a man. Um, yeah. If you're I a woman it. driver, if you're a woman driver, you're not a woman. You're That's a female right. driver, you're not a woman until you've gone through there. I totally agree, totally agree. So um, it's important to get out there and get your initiation right done. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm thinking about it, and I'm thinking my favorite part of this track is that that hill um, where you come off the back straight, and then it's it's blind. You can't see the bottom, so you really have to know how much of that curb that you want to take, and then you just nail that inside curve on the right, and then float down the hill, track out right, and then set yourself up for the bowl. That's a really fun complex there, too. Oh, I don't know. I just closed my eyes for that section, so I have no idea. <laughs> I've never, uh, I've never kept my eyes open in that section ever. But right on. So overall, point we're trying to make here: wonderful track. Um, if you haven't driven it, you should. If you have, you know how. Also, cool. also, you know, there's brand new condos or cabins being finished now. They're ready for our event. We'll be the first event to have cabins that are newly built. Have, uh, you know, two a bedroom, a bed, and they've got a whole couch, fold out couch thing, kitchen. Um, and yeah, it's kind of getting deluxe out there. Yeah, those are those are brand new and ready for rental, um, and they're they've got kind of a special pricing for uh, that's going to happen all year for this first year. So they're they're basically 180 bucks a night, uh, and then in the summer they're even cheaper because uh, it's a little warm out there. So I guess they consider that kind of the off season. Uh, but yeah, they, those are available for rent. If they are still available, they only had 10 uh, available yesterday. So uh, definitely uh, hop on there and reserve your cabin if you are so inclined. Um, what do we got going on this weekend for competitions? Uh, Saturday is round one of the Bimmer Challenge. Uh, so they'll be kicking off their 2017 campaign. Um, and, uh, and then Sunday is Nissan Challenge. Uh, which I believe is also the first round of competition for that time trial. Nice. Wish uh, I had a BMW and wish I had a Nissan. I know, right? Or both. Yeah. Why not? Or both. Um, anything else that uh, we should chat about now? No, you know, I think uh, I think that's good. I'm going to uh, go have my third cup of coffee and keep staring at this parking lot. Right on. So go to speedventures.com slash events. Sign up for Chuckwalla if you are not uh, already. Um, looking forward to the next. Bring a barbecue out with you. Bring a little grill. Yeah, yeah. The camping. The, uh, the camping. The is the, it's the number one grilling track in the country. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. Uh, the camping culture there is wonderful because where else are you going to go? There's there's really nowhere else to go. Yeah, and then the and then when for some reason the the quality of the smoke out there is really good. Mm. Whatever. Mm. Um, so like yeah, Austin, Texas. 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and then looking forward to next weekend, we're at Auto Club Speedway both days. And uh, I suppose you, you, we'll, we can talk about that later, though. Yeah, I was going to say we'll we'll catch up next Wednesday and talk about Auto Club because we have a lot to say about it that's never been said before. So much. <laughs> we'll have to. <laughs> we have a week to think about what we're going to say about it that hasn't been said. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, it's been nice talking with you, Aaron. Thanks for calling, Adam. You're welcome. Anytime. Yeah, we'll, we'll I hope you have a, a wonderful day. All right. Same to you. All right. Bye. Bye.